Hello, I'm Adana County Auditor Mike Lee Kovac, and I want to welcome you to another edition of Take Me Home. With me from the SPCA is Penny Blake. Hi. <laughs> and what is your official title? I'm the Humane Officer from Adana County. Outstanding. And you mentioned uh, the foster uh, the foster parents for the dogs. Yep. Is there, does the SPCA have a need for uh, foster uh, parents out there? Oh, we sure do. And we always have them. Um, then we always have a plea out to the community to step up if you're unsure if you're ready for a dog. If you just want to help a homeless animal, sick, injured, or abused animal, we're always looking for foster homes. And um, what a foster home is, is just someone that will take in these animals into their home, treat them like their own. We pay for the vet care. We provide you food, caging, toys, and encouragement. And if you need help with a trainer, we'll do that too. But what we're trying to do is get these animals, it's called the rehab part. We pick them up, right. we get them to the vet, we find out what's wrong with them, we begin their treatment. And then um, once they're ready, they need to go into a home and learn how to be dogs again. Some dogs are easier. Little Eddie here was just ready to go to a home. Wherever he came from, um, he, he knows what a stuff is and he knows how to be in a home. <laughs> um, other dogs need time to learn how to deal with a television and a refrigerator. But if you, uh, if you call us, we'll set you up to be a foster home. We'll put the kind of dog or cat in your home that fits your situation. If you're an active family and you, you know, you've got kids, an active family, well, you, know, you can have a puppy. If you're an older couple and would like just to see if you're ready to, to do a dog in your in your older years, they said we'll give you a you know a spider dog or a dog that's housebroken. We want to fit the dog with the home, and if by chance while your foster dog is there you fall madly in love and can't let her go, <laughs> you certainly can adopt a dog. Um, we're just looking for good quality homes for these animals, and if you want to step up and help out and make a difference in these animals' lives, consider fostering because it really is rewarding. Your kids will grow and learn from it. And you will um, be on, you know, you'll be so rewarded by how well the dog does, mm -hmm. or cat. And what's the phone number for fostering? Too, probably the same it's number. It's the same number. Three three zero seven two three seven seven two two. It's seven two three SPCA. Outstanding. And uh, through the website, through the phone number, if someone's interested in adopting, then oh look at, look at Angel. <laughs> all right. <laughs> She's ready. Now, what is the process? Is an application that needs to be filled out for the dog? Yeah. Is that one of our goals is all of the dogs and cats that we have have either been sick, injured, abused, or abandoned. So we really want to fit the right animal with the right home. So if you're interested in adopting, you can you give us a call. We ask you to fill out an adoption application. And basically that asks how you're going to house the dog, where the dog's going to be, what kind of activities you'll do with the dog. If you're a very active family, mm -hmm. we would suggest you have an active dog in your house. If you're a very quiet family and like to hang around the house, then a quieter dog would be more appropriate. So we try to match the dog with the home. Certainly, you know, if you've always had your set heart set on having a dog like Angel, you know, we want to make sure that you're happy and the dog's happy. So if you fill out the application, we'll go over it with you and then you can um, adopt the dog. Now, once you get the dog or cat from us, right. we ask you to fill out an adoption contract. And that's basically, if once you have the animal in your home, we check back with you in a couple weeks. If things are going well, then we deposit your money. Otherwise, we hold on to your check, make sure that you're happy and the animal's happy. So if there's problems within the first few weeks, we'll help you with those. And we work with trainers also. Um, after, you know, you think the dog may work out in your home, then we'll deposit the money. But at any time through the life of the animal, if it's not working out, say you have to move, you lose your home, um, you become ill, for the life of the animal, we ask that you give the animal back to us. Absolutely. So we stand by these animals. We want you to be happy, the dog be happy and safe. And for any reason, you can return an animal to us, and we will take good care of it and try to find it in your home. So. Oh, I did not know that. So. Yeah. We're back with uh, Mike Kellum, uh, the Brunswick Animal Control Officer, and Penny Blake from the Medina County SPCA. I want to talk a little bit about the, a problem that's been coming up, I guess you guys have been seeing, uh, with the, uh, the foreclosures going on in the county. Uh, have we been seeing more animals that are being uh, uh, left at some homes and things like that? Um, we're called into homes when people are court ordered and evicted and foreclosure come in, and it's always a sad time for all of us. We were called in by the Sheriff's Department, bailiffs, and we go in and have to remove the animals as they're being evicted. Um, that's hard, but what's even harder is when you go to a home where a bank is coming and they're going to take the home and the people have vacated the week or two or three before, and we're finding animals in those homes. We're finding homes um, with animals that were their beloved pets, dogs that are 8, 10 years old, 12 years old, that have lived in the homes. The people don't know where to go. They don't know where they're going to live, so they leave their animals. And now uh, we go in, and now the animals dehydrated, starving. Um, they've been eating garbage to survive. And you know, you know that people were at their last straw when they shut that door and went away. They didn't know what to do. So if you're facing foreclosure, if you're facing eviction, 
call us. We, you know, we can't take unwanted dogs. We can't take animals. Um, just, you know, we'd like to. We'd be at a shelter, but we can put you in contact with the agencies that can, groups that can help, ways to help your pets. Don't wait till the day that you're shutting your door and pulling out of the driveway. Um, you leave those animals, and unfortunately, sometimes we put animals to survive. So we're, you know, we're called into just some horrible situations where animals are, are forced to suffer because people think that they had a choice. And there are choices. Give us a call. And Mike, up in Brunswick, same situation? Uh, we're finding the well, same situation. Uh, being in Medina County, uh, obviously the SPC will be involved in it also, but mm -hmm. uh, we have been finding a lot of dogs uh, as strays. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the, mm -hmm. between stray and abandon, there's, there's not too much different. Yeah. Uh, these are wonderful animals. They're housebroken. They listen to uh, commands, and uh, we don't know why they're here. Um, sometimes we think it's just people are at the West Ends. Uh, they think if they surrender it to a, 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 a dog pound, if you will, um, that that's the seal of the fate of the animal. And that's, that's actually not the case. That's, that's not the case, that, right. Right, because the uh, Medina County Animal Shelter uh, right. actually has a very good adoption rate uh, of Correct. animals uh, 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 at the county. And again, right. as you mentioned, if, if someone calls you, if they're facing foreclosure, right. uh, they can't afford the dog. If they call, there are some groups out there that will take these animals in. Right. And the County Animal Shelter works really hard to find these animals' homes. They'll work with you, they'll work with the rescue groups. You know, if you don't know what to do, take it to the County Animal Shelter, and they will take them in, and they work with all of us, um, you know, the Animal Use Medical Attention, they'll come over to the SPCA. If they can go to Breed Specific Rescue, they work closely. The Medina County Animal Shelter has one of the highest adoption rates in the state. Yes, um, they do a great job. So the animals will, will be treated kindly, and will hopefully find a home. Don't leave them, don't turn them loose. You find wonderful animals that are hit by cars, mauled by other animals. They suffer, they're afraid. And then, um, and then we get them, and then we have to fix all this. Right. So like, I think sometimes though, people. I mean, foreclosure used to be one of the worst words to say. In, in you know, with the financial crisis right now, I think people should be more realistic. And if they are facing that, maybe contact friends and relatives, and friends of relatives that maybe could hold on to their pet until they get back on their feet. Right. I think if people are just more realistic, and you know, you know, you're going to be foreclosed on way before you know the last day. Or evicted. And, and, and even if, if, if you're facing financial troubles, because it's a tough time, not only in Northeast Ohio right now, but throughout the country, and, and you feel you can't afford that pet anymore, make the call uh, to the SPCA, to the Animal Shelter, Brunswick Animal Control. There are some groups out there that may be able to help, and that's just a much kinder way to treat the animal sure. than to either close the door behind it or to let it run out the door and, and send it out there on its own. So, uh, and again, the Medina County Animal Shelter has a wonderful adoption rate. Um, and again, it's just, a, it's just a more humane, kinder way to deal with sure. animal than, uh, than leaving it behind there. Uh, I want to mention, uh, again, the SPCA is a nonprofit organization. Uh, so they, uh, they have to go out and raise uh, most of the money that they use to, uh, to take care of these pets throughout Medina County. And I understand we've got a pre-holiday gift basket extravaganza going on. That's huh? right. <laughs> yeah, it's on November 8th at the Medina Eagles Club. If you call our number, we'd be glad to get you some tickets. Uh, tickets are $15 a piece. It's a wonderful brunch. It's a Saturday at 11 o'clock from 11 to 2. Come have breakfast or brunch with us. Um, there will be all kinds of baskets. People in the community are very generous donating baskets of all kinds of items. That's going to be Saturday, November 8th at the Medina Eagles on Lafayette Road there, just across from the uh, fairgrounds from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And they are taking sponsors, so uh, yes. if you would like to sponsor that great organization, give them a call also. So uh, I want to thank you, Mike, uh, for hosting us today, and Penny and Mandy for uh, bringing the dogs up. Uh, again, let us give you that phone number one more time for the SPCA. It's 330-723-7722. Absolutely. There's wonderful dogs out there. And again, if you're not quite sure if you're ready to adopt, try to foster for a bit. And they've got cats too. They didn't bring them up here today, but there are cats available as well as the dogs. Uh, if you don't feel you're ready to adopt, uh, this is a good time to foster. Again, with Christmas coming around the corner, you're thinking, wondering whether you should get that pet or not. A great way to try it out is to foster with the SPCA. So, thank you very much for tuning in. I'm Mike Kovac, Medina County Auditor, and this has been Take Me Home.